Hi everyone, my name is Joel Silva and welcome back to another Data in the Wild episode hosted by Data Mini. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel below and click the bell to turn on notifications to be the first to know every time we upload a new video. Let's talk about running workflows. As we can see, we have a simple workflow with two Excel files as inputs, a join tool uniting these two datasets, a sort tool ordering the name field by ascending, and an output tool exporting the results as an Alteryx database file. First, let's publish this workflow in the gallery by clicking on File, Save As, Private Gallery, and choose your company's gallery. Just click and save. And let's see that in browser. So in the workflow page, we can click on run button right here to run the workflow from the gallery. Let's click on the run button. A question window is loaded. In this case, our workflow is not an analytical app and therefore there are no questions to display and configure before the execution. So let's click on run button again. The workflow will be executed and while it runs, we can see the job status. After that, we can see the final status and, in some case, a preview of the results. It's also possible to download it by choosing the format file and clicking on download button. This is our output file and we can choose all these different formats to download that. Let's use CSV. Selecting encoding, I will choose UTF-8 and click on download. And right here, if we click, we can see the result in an Excel file as well. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to know when future videos are posted. Thank you for watching.